Okay, so we're going to look at uh, types of data. We have two different types of data. We can separate data into qualitative or quantitative. Uh, qualitative is looking at data that has qualities that we look at. Quantitative is data that we look at the quantities. So qualitative data would be anything that's categorical, um, and it includes anything that's non-numeric, any data that is non-numeric. Quantitative uh, data must be numeric, so it must strictly be numeric data, and then in addition, it needs to be some way to algebraically manipulate that data. So whether we add or take averages or something, the, the numbers can't just be numbers in themselves, they have to be numbers that we can algebraically manipulate. Uh, so examples of qualitative data, names, nationality, religion, eye color, um, some kind of scale, small, medium, large, uh, scale from extremely not useful to extremely useful. Uh, so extremely not useful, somewhat not useful, somewhat useful, extremely useful. Um, and then you have some, some numerical data, but it's still qualitative, so you can't it's numerical, but you can't do computations. So things like social security numbers, student ID numbers, uh, zip codes, phone numbers, this is numeric data, but it's still qualitative because we can't um, do algebra with it or any kind of manipul uh, algebraic manipulations. And then we look at quantitative data. And again, it's numeric data that can be algebraically manipulated in some manner. And it's divided into two categories, discrete and continuous. So discrete data is data that can be counted. So when we're counting things like a number of books, number of courses, shoe size, um, number of children, number of houses on a block, etc. Continuous data is things that can generally be measured. So my height, my weight, uh, my age, my height would be in feet, weight in pounds, age in years. Things that have continuous, our continuous quantitative data generally have units of measurement attached. So feet, pounds, years, etc. Examples. Um, the discrete data is like the data points like shoe size would be six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, and there's space between any several pairs of, there's always, you can always find space between the data values. So there's a discrete jump from six to six and a half, and there are no shoe sizes in between. Continuous data, on the other hand, um, there's always another value between any two values. So if we're talking height, 60 inches and 61 inches, Somewhere between there, there's another height, 61.5 inches or 61.2 inches. Between 61.2 and 61.3, there's another height, 61.22, etc. So it's a continuous set of data from one all the way to the other. Discrete has jumps from six to six and a half to seven, etc. And we want to look at an example. Students coming to school on the first day of fall quarter are surveyed. They are asked their major, how many credits they are taking, how far they live from school, and how they got to school. Identify each type of data as qualitative or quantitative, discrete or continuous, and give an example set of data for each. Okay, so for starters, you know, what are the things that we're surveying? Their major, number of credits, their distance from school, and their mode of transportation. And then, the, which type of data is each. So major is qualitative. Some examples would be English, business, biology, or computer science. The number of credits you're taking, that's quantitative and it's discrete. You're either taking five, 10, 12, or 15 credits. The distance from school is also quantitative but continuous. You live 3.2 miles, 16.301 miles, 500 feet two blocks. You can always sort of find a distance from school between any two other distances from the school. And then mode of transportation, uh, that's qualitative. Car, bus, bike, or walk. All right, that's it for types of data.